We head to the SEC where the LSU Tigers go on the road to Oxford, Mississippi to take on the controversial <laughs> number 12 Ole Miss Rebels D. It's always entertainment with Lane Kiffin when he's in the game. This is a 3.30 kickoff on CBS. Ole Miss currently favored by nine points. D, who wins this game? You know, uh, Ole Miss coming off of a, you know, a pretty decent win, you know, going into Tennessee and beating Tennessee. LSU also coming off of a, a really big win, you know, beating Florida. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, my question is, can LSU's defense, you know, get stops on the road? I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to go with Matt Corral and Ole Miss to, uh, you know, pretty much beat LSU pretty good uh, this weekend. So give me Ole Miss. Yeah, D, you know, this is one of those games that probably has the most question marks out of any game that we've seen this season for multiple reasons, right? Biggest one being, is Matt Corral going to be healthy? We don't know the, the status of his knee injury. We know he went down late in the game last week after winning. This dude put up 200 yards passing and almost 200 yards rushing. So if if his injury is lingering and he's not able to, you know, make those shifty moves inside and outside of the pocket, that's going to play a huge role in that Rebels offense. Uh -huh. But, you know, Coach O came out and said that, uh, quote, Lane Kiffin is uh, smoke screening right now with, with Matt Corral's injury. So he might be playing a little bit of mind games with Tigers. And with Coach O being said, <clears throat> that's another question I have is, you know, how is the team going to respond to the news of Coach O resigning at the end of the year? Sure, they might come out and play their hardest. They're coming off of a huge win against Florida, no doubt. Um, but if Matt Corral is, in fact, at least 75% healthy, uh, I think Ole Miss runs away with this one. Give me Ole Miss in a tight game. I think they win by a shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> wow. With that being said, that's a wrap for today's episode. When we come back next week, we're going to break down our week eight of our Heismans of the week, and we're going to move forward to probably one of the best weeks of college football we've had in years in week nine game day pick -ems. Trust me, you will not want to miss out. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below to become part of the Heisman Talk family. Share it with your friends and make sure that bell notification is turned on so you can stay up to date when we post our latest videos. College football is alive and well, and it's here to stay. As always, this is Nate Dog and D signing off.